Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. So, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about one NiFi configuration that can save your day. Um, <laughs> basically, um, there might be cases where your NiFi server or your instance crashes uh, due to some bad configuration in a promoted uh, flow uh, that will clog your system and every, every time you start, uh, pretty much creates a bottleneck immediately. Now, b by default, um, the NiFi processors or process groups or elements that we we have in NiFi will be coming back online with the same state as they went back offline and as they went out offline. And that is managed by one property called state in the NiFi configuration. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how that works. So let's go into our um, NiFi config folder and uh, Let's edit the properties. Once you get into the properties, look for um, this particular um, term. It's called resume state. This is the property that will pretty much enable um, NiFi to restart your instance or whenever the instance is starting to auto resume the processing. So in our situation, my server crashes all the time 10 seconds into it. So what I'll say, I'll say false. Save it. And let's go ahead and start our NiFi instance. So we're going to go to NiFi.sh start. Right now, if we see the service started and none of the processors are running, but validate what I'm saying, what I'll do, I'll start one of this, uh, I'll start one of the process process groups. So this will this will run and you see it has a state of one and he's going to queue some data here. Let's go now and do a um, Let's stop it. So where are we? We are in comp. Let's go to, as a matter of fact, I'll do it from here. So it's going to be NiFi. Right, so this is going to shut down NiFi. Uh, and you can see right now, NiFi went. It's not available. Let's, let's go actually edit it from here, as a matter of fact. Okay, so... Let's change this from false to true. Now, the, um, the behavior would be that whenever, when we're gonna start this, the processors that were previously, uh, they will maintain their previous, previous state, correct? So we should have uh, that particular processor up and running. So this might take a bit of time. So let's refresh this page. All right, so there you go. Right now you can see that this particular process group, it's up and running after we restart. So um, that's how you would, let's say, save the day in case you promote a bad or a crooked flow file that pretty much shuts down your, your instance, uh, NiFi instance all the time. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I see you in the next one.